Hi guys, welcome to today's video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a really cute turkey clip, just like this one. It's really a lot of fun to make, and once you get the hang of it, it's very simple. Um, it requires quite a bit of ribbon, but, you know, in the end it's worth it because it looks super adorable. Um, so the material that you're going to need for this clip... Oh, and one thing that I wanted to tell you guys that's really, really fun about this is you can put this on a clip if you choose. Um, or if you want to, you can actually hot glue it to a basic boutique bow or even a stacked boutique bow. Um, so that's really a lot of fun to do because you can, you know, mix and match. You can do whatever you want with it, make it your own. Um, so the material that you're going to need to make the turkey clip is your ribbon, of course. Um, you're going to need, now I've got my ribbon just kind of separated here uh, for where each of it goes and what each of it goes to so that it's a little bit easier for you guys to understand. So all the ribbon that you're going to need is going to be 3 eighths of an inch wide. Um, you're going to need brown, yellow, orange, red, and that's it. <laughs> or if you want to change your colors up, you can certainly do that as well. It's totally up to you. Um, but what you're going to need is you're going to need a 4 inch piece um, of 3 inch, inch brown grosgrain ribbon. And then you're going to need a 3 inch piece of that same color. And then you're going to need another 3 inch piece of the brown grosgrain ribbon. You're going to need, for your feathers, you're going to need, um, now I chose to do mine with the white polka dot just because, you know, it adds a little more cuteness to it, but if you want to change it up and do whatever you want, you can do that. Um, but this is for your feathers, like you can see here. You want two yellow with white polka dot, 3 8 inch wide ribbon. You want all these to be cut at three and a half inches. So you're going to need two yellow with white polka dot, one orange with white polka dot, one red with white polka dot, and then one brown. You're also going to need two inch pieces. You're going to need yellow and you're going to need red. Now these are just going to be used for the facial facial features, I'm sorry, um, for like the nose and then the little red piece here. You're also going to need a set of googly eyes to put on there. And then you're going to need a lighter to heat seal the ends of your ribbon so that they don't fall apart and it'll prevent them from fraying. You're going to need a pair of scissors to cut your um, ribbon with and a ruler or a tape measure to uh, measure your ribbon. And then you're also going to need your wonderful, handy hot glue gun. <laughs> um, mine's nothing fancy. I actually got mine at Hobby Lobby, and it's just the high temp one. Um, so yeah, that's what you're going to need. And I have already got a pre-lined alligator clip. Um, I actually did this myself. If you guys want to go back to my previous three videos to find out how you um, partially line an alligator clip, you can go back and watch those. Um, it's very simple and easy to do. If you decide to do that, you will need an alligator clip and you will also need one 4 inch piece of ribbon to line it with. And uh, I'll also show you guys how to place the no slip grip on the inside as well, which is just um, kitchen cabinet liner um, that helps things from not sliding out. Um, and it's a really great tool to have whenever, you know, having hair bows and clips for little girls so that, you know, their beautiful little hair clips and bows don't fall out of their hair. So, once you have partially lined your alligator clip and put your gripper on there, if you choose to, that is totally optional, um, we will get started. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make the body of our turkey, and I'll leave my turkey sitting here so that you guys can see. So, we are going to take our 4 inch piece of ribbon, and what we are going to do is this right here. We are going to just bring it around and glue it at the end like that. And I'm going to show you guys. So place a dot of glue at the end of your ribbon and then bring it around like this and then glue it. Just like that. So place a dot of glue here at the end. And then we're going to just bring our other end around like this. Place it on top. And hold it there for a second. Okay, so once we have done that, you can set that down. And we'll do our next piece, which is our 3 inch piece. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put a dot of glue at the end. And then we are going to bring it around, just like we did our other one. Okay, 
So once we have done that, what we are now going to do is we are going to place the little one inside of the big one, just like this. And then when you turn it this way, you can see the body of the turkey has formed. So we'll take our big one. We're going to place a dot of glue right here. And then we're going to take our little one and we are going to place it right up here. And don't let the two tips touch because then you won't be able to see how nicely it gets layered. And what I did there was I just melted some of the glue that was drying on top so that you couldn't see. Okay. So now it should look like this. And you will see on our turkey that this would be the body. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make the head of the turkey. So we're going to take our last three inch piece of brown ribbon. And what we're going to do here is you're going to just take your ribbon and you're going to take one side and you're going to fold it over the top like this. Like that there. And you may have to play with it just to get your ends even, but once you have, then you can glue it. And then you're going to do the same with this side, you're going to bring it over this way. Make sure you don't bring it like all the way over. You need a little bit of room so that you can put your eyes on there. So once you find the length that you want it to be, see I can see my creases now. So what you want to do is place some glue right there in the middle where you had uh, creased your ribbon. This way you know what you're working with now. Kind of acts as a guide. So just bring your ribbon over. And be careful because that glue is super hot. So now we've got our ends brought over. At this point, you can play around with it. Just bring, just make sure that these are even on the bottom. And then you can actually turn it over. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a dot of glue right here. This way, whenever we lay this over, it stays put. So you can turn it over and we have made the head for the turkey. I got a few stringy glue pieces on me here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to place a dot of glue right back here where the two pieces cross. And we are going to place that right up here at the top. So it's going to lay right across like this. Okay, so once we have got the body and the head on there, we can start, um, actually, uh, we'll go ahead and put the eyes on there. So we're going to take one of our googly eyes, place a dot of glue on the back. And 
and we're going to put it on one end. Make sure you get the eyes as far to the top as you can so that we've got room for the nose and the other piece. Do the same with our other eye. So once we have got our eyes on, we will go ahead and make our nose. So take your one inch piece of yellow ribbon and what you're going to do is we're going to just cut a triangle out. So just go this way and then we'll go this way. And you've got a triangle there. And obviously we don't need it that big so you might want to trim it down a little. Once you have um, got the nose to the size that you want it to be, make sure you heat seal the ends where you cut. And do this very quickly so that you don't mess up the shape of your nose. So put some glue on the back of your nose. And place it just under the eyes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our one inch piece of red ribbon and we are going to make this little tassel here. I'm not sure exactly what they call that. <laughs> so to do that, all we're going to do, you're going to take your ribbon and your scissors and you're going to cut down and kind of curve. Go about halfway into your ribbon and then come back up. and then you will have a piece like this. And once again, heat seal those ends so that they do not come apart. And do it quickly so that you don't leave the heat sitting on your ribbon very long or it'll mess up the shape. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to put a dot of glue right here on top of the back of our red piece. And we're going to put it on the side of the nose, just like this. Like that. Okay. So it's starting to take its shape now. So we got to do our feathers. These are really easy to do. We're going to start with our yellow because I like to go with a pattern on the ends. So make sure you heat seal the ends of your ribbon before doing this. What we're going to do is basically what we did here when we made the body of the turkey, except for we're not going to bring it all the way around like this. We're going to just kind of bring it like this, where we're starting to make a um, kind of like a breast cancer awareness ribbon. So we're going to put a dot of glue right here on top. So if you got a pretty side, which like I do here with the dots, make sure you put the glue on the top. And bring your ribbon around. And then just hold it until it's stuck real good. And you're going to do this with every one of your pieces.
If you get those little stringies, just take your lighter and kind of do that, and it'll get them off of there for you. See how I'm not bringing it like we did the other piece? I'm not bringing it all the way over. I'm just kind of bringing it where the end's flat. So once we have finished with our feathers, there is a certain way that you want to put them on the back of your turkey so that um, once you put it on a clip or a bow, it won't like make the feathers look all uneven or anything. So what you want to do is take your first piece that we're going to do right here. And if you want to, you can actually um, glue all your feather pieces together first and then place them on the back of your turkey or you can... Um, go ahead and place them on the back of your turkey but what I like to do is do them over each other first and then place them all together on the back of the turkey so what we're going to do is take our outside piece and we are going to place just a dot of glue that's all we need is a dot of glue right here on the end just kind of on the side there and we'll take our piece and place it on top. And then I'm going to take my brown one. And you can see here that it is laying over the top of the red one. So we're going to lay that over the top of the red one like that. So we're going to place a dot of glue right here on the end. Okay, so once you've done that, we're going to go to our next one. And this one is actually going to go behind our brown one, like this. So we're going to put a dot of glue right here. And place it behind the brown one. And then our last one is going to go underneath the orange one. Just like this. So we're going to place a dot of glue either behind the orange one or right here on top of the yellow one. I'm just going to do it on top of the yellow one. Make it a little bit easier. And see, I'm just placing the glue on the edge of the ribbon. I'm not placing it on the whole entire bottom because the entire piece of the feather is not being glued. It's just the tips of them. So we've got our feathers now. So what we'll do is we will now place them on our turkey. So just put some glue right here in the center of your feathers. You can just do a line straight down. And place the turkey's head evenly with the brown feather. Just like this. some glue here okay so we have got a finished turkey turned out cute so I wanted to thank you guys for watching this video tutorial 
And uh, if you want to place it on a clip, all you have to do is take your glue, place a line of glue on top of your alligator clip, and then just take your turkey and place it right on there. Just like that. And you have got a adorable little turkey uh, alligator clip that you can place in your little girl's hair. Or you could just take it and you can place it in the center of a hair bow, whatever you choose to do. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial.